Thanks for joining another 5-Minute Modeler, where we take brief but informative looks at various issues and provide tips and tricks to enhance your modeling experience. While I model in N scale, if you model in other scales, don't leave just yet, as you may find some interesting information that crosses over multiple scales. So today, we're going to reprogram back to the factory default settings of an Atlas GP9 on an NCE system. I have a power cab here that I'm using, and basically this uh, engine number 4900 is dead. It's not responding the way I want it to, and everything I do with Decoder Pro doesn't seem to help. It just makes it worse. So I'm going to reset it and start all over from scratch. So here you can see the headlights are on, um, you know, on and off. Doesn't really help. I don't know if you can see that. What I've done here is I've taken, um, I don't have a programming track on my layout, so I just set up a piece on, on my workbench here, and I have the, um, the NC system plugged in, and I've got this little test track with the wires, and I was so lazy I didn't even solder the wires onto there. I just got them wrapped around there, but it seems to, seems to be working. It's real easy to program these things back to the factory default, but you go out to the internet and you try to find information on it, and it's very confusing because people are trying to, um, you know, cover all decoders with one set of instructions. And the one that I found that was the most, uh, which seemed like the most useful, turned out to be not accurate at all. And that was when they say to um, go to CV8 and set it to 8. And maybe that works on some Digitrax or something else. I don't know because all of the decoders I have are either NCE. Um, these happen to be Atlas engines, but they're NCE decoders. And these all work um, roughly the same. So in order to do this, um, to program this right, and it's real easy, but you got to follow these exact steps. So the first thing you do, now we got my locomotive on here. And it's just sitting there and it's it's not responding to anything. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the program escape button, which is down here at the bottom. I'm going to hit that four times. One, two, three, four. And then it says use program track. So this is my program track. And I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to flash and it's going to say program track. One standard, two CV, three regular. I'm going to hit two because I'm going to go to the CV settings. And this is what's very important with the NCE decoders to reset the entire decoder. This sets it back to the factory default. You use CV30, okay? And then you hit enter, and then it's going to say what value do you want. So you see CV number 30, and then the value. And the value to reset it is 2. And you hit enter, and then it's going to bring up another CV if you wanted to change another CV, but we don't. So I'm gonna press the escape key. And now the most important part of this whole thing is you have to reset your cab, okay? So I actually unplug it. Uh, you could probably just unplug it from the, um, from the, the throttle controller, but I just unplug it just to be safe. I plug it back in. And I, it's going to go crazy there because I think that was the DC piece or something like that. I don't know if you've ever had that with DC. Um, it'll sometimes take off on you. But it's it's set now. Now what I'm going to do is since I reset it, it's reset back to address 3, right? And so now I'm going to select the loco, and I'm just going to put 3 and enter. I'm not going to put 003 or 0003 because it's going to think it's a four-digit address and it's not going to read it. So I'm going to test this here, and I'm going to see my headlight. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but the headlight's on on this end. And we're going to um, flip it over here, and hopefully here you can see that the headlight is on there. And now let's uh, see if we can get it to run. There we go. Wow, it's running a lot better. It's not where I want it on the speed steps. It's at speed step 11 right now on the NC throttle. That seems to be a little bit too, uh, too high for me, but um, I can fix that in Decoder Pro. But here we got, uh, let's see, we go here. 
There we go, and that's again speed step 11. So hopefully you find this helpful. Uh, thanks for joining and uh, catch us again on another five minute modeler.